Welcome to another weekly edition of the Best Way to Smoke News with Serpo Jr. and Big J. Man, guess what? What's that? Not strong enough. California Man. marijuana company sued over potency of joints. What? Fresno, California, KGO produced. A California marijuana company has been slapped with the lawsuit, allegedly, for not having strong enough joints. According to ABC News media partner, the Bay Area News Group, Two customers from Fresno filed the lawsuit last week accusing Dreamfields Brand Incorporated of falsely claiming that their jitter, or jetter, however you want to say it, branded joints have a high THC content. Now, within a lawsuit, these people coming up and saying, man, y'all joints, they say it's going hit to hit me, put me on my back, eat a big 80-pound burger, go to sleep, not it. They got man, sued, and man. I always had that thought in my head. Them pre rolls. But wait, hold on. You said an eighty pound burger, man. If you got that bomb <laughs> joint, you finna eat. That's right, though. Hey, but man, that's a cold lawsuit, man. And 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 with with uh, weed being so popular now, it might uh, be more lawsuits like that coming for certain uh, products and shit, though. But moving on, cannabis no longer a controlled substance in Nevada. Following judge ru judge's ruling, a Clark County judge ruled Wednesday that the Nevada Board of Pharmacy does not have the authority to regulate cannabis and cannabis derivatives uh, uh, under state law. Judge Joe Hardy had previously ruled from the bench that the pharmacy board's classification of cannabis as a Schedule One controlled substance violated the Nevada Constitution. Wednesday ruling means that Nevada Board of Pharmacy cannot reschedule cannabis as a controlled substance under any Schedule II, et cetera. Cannabis Equity and Inclusion Community President co-founder Ashley Dawson said, cannabis has been legal in Nevada for decades, but that hasn't stopped law enforcement from treating black and brown people like criminals. We're grateful for the ACLU of Nevada for taking this case on and for Judge Hardy of for hearing it with fairness and dignity. As far as social equity is concerned, we've seen businesses act strategically to keep black and brown people out of the unlicensed market by preventing pathways to ownership is hopefully with as the last loophole allowing for the criminalization of cannabis fall by the wayside. We can get back to our original mission of assisting the communities harmed the most by the failed war on drugs find a way into the industry. So that's that's um a big move for Nevada. It is. Yes, yes, moving on. Blood pressure medicine recall. This is some information some may need to know. Some pills pose potential cancer risk, FDA announces. A pharmaceutical company is recalling a blood pressure medicine due to a potential risk of cancer, the FDA announced this week. Eero Bindo, former USA, is recalling two, loss, two lots of quinapril. Yeah, quinapril. And hydrocortisone tablets due to levels of nitrosamine. Yep. The tablets are commonly prescribed for the treatment of hypertension to lower blood pressure. Low levels of nitrosamine or nitrosaquinopril is regularly found in water and food, including cured and grilled meats, dairy products, and vegetables. Exposure to high levels, the FDA reports, has been linked with an elevated risk of cancer. Mm -hmm. So for those that's out there that's having like certain reactions to certain things and you thinking it's certain foods or whatever it may be that you may t take or even things you may drink or hydrate with, they linking it now to some of the pills that we are actually being prescribed. Yeah, and I think this is big, especially for like, you know, the black and brown communities because it's a lot of people that take high blood pressure medicine, a lot of people with hypertension. So it's definitely something to look at. So if anybody out there that's watching uh, you know, ha is taking any of this medication, you know, look it up, Google it, try to find out more information and talk to your doctor to make sure uh, you're not taking that. 
Moving on. Medical cannabis and bipolar disorder treatment. Some sources say cannabis might help with bipolar disorder symptoms, but research suggests it can be dangerous. Various reports say that cannabis might be might help people manage the symptoms of bipolar disorder. If you have bipolar disorder, you might be tempted to self-medicate with cannabis. However, there is a lack of research to support the idea. In fact, using cannabis may come with certain risks when you have bipolar disorders such as potential or worsened manic symptoms and interaction with bipolar disorder medication. Can cannabis help with bipolar disorder? That's the question. Cannabis use in common is common among people with bipolar disorder, according to the 2021 research. Many people with bipolar disorder report using it to improve their mood and help with their symptoms. However, there is a lack of research on whether cannabis can help treat bipolar disorder. So, like, we talked about this before, like, people, you know, with, with bipolar disorder and different, um, that go through different things, mm -hmm. you know, we can cause psychosis for them people and shit like that, though, and it might, you know, push them to, to start, you know, reacting out and shit like that, though, man. So, that's good. That's something to uh, pay attention to. I hope they get more research done to find out if it's really a benefit for people with bipolar disorder. And again, before we move on, that goes with some of these little laws that's being inputted. Because if they actually get approved and, and, and cannabis is actually like removed from a schedule one, you got to realize that that will open the doors for <clears throat> bigger and better research. Mm -hmm. You know, so it could be a win-win. Yep, yep, moving on. President Biden's cannabis scheduling review. Marijuana Schedule 1 status under the Controlled Substance Act is officially up for review. That's Finally. That, that's good. Yeah. Good, good. President Biden's decision to initiate a cannabis scheduling review, which will be conducted jointly by the Drug Enforcement Agency and the Food and Drug Administration, lit a fire underneath pot stocks in early October. Once investors had a chance to digest this groundbreaking news, however, most pot equities quickly reversed course. In fact, most marijuana stocks have lost significant ground since this review was announced roughly three weeks ago. Canada's Aurora Cannabis, ACB, for instance, has shed nearly 6% of its value since the administration initiated this review. And there's three possible outcomes. I'm gonna give you guys one. You can reference the article to see like what's the others. One of them, a review, a review does not lead to a change in cannabis schedule one status under the Controlled Substance Act. This outcome would be a affirmation of the review that marijuana has no value medically and a high potential for abuse. The good news is that the limited pre the, the limited peer-reviewed literature on cannabis does not strongly support this stance. After all, marijuana has been shown to have potential clinical benefits across several indications, such as certain types of epilepsy, various inflammatory conditions, pain management, and etc. So if it's being if it's being taken off the schedule one, it's like more research can be like conducted yep. to let like all of us know the the actual benefits of it. Mm -hmm. Because why it's under this little schedule, little one little thingamajing that they got going on is limited. Yeah. You know, so it's like some people may find the research, but if I put this out, ah man, you dealing with something schedule one. So it may like put a damper on like the, the finder's mood yeah. or, or enthusiasm to put it out. So if it's taken off the schedule one, you just got to realize that a whole lot of research that been suppressed will actually be able to come out. Yep. And we want that research, man. That's it. the best way to smoke new, the Serpo Jr. Big J. Baby, baby. <laughs>